OK, here we're going to have a look at some work on factorising expressions back into a single bracket. And this is typical of something that you might have to do as a GCSE grade C question. So perhaps one of the first couple of questions on the higher level paper. We can look at examples like 5x squared plus 15x and talk through the process of how we factorise expressions like this back into a single bracket. So starting with 5x squared plus 15x, the trick here is to break each part of the expression down as far as it will go. So in terms of the 5x squared, I know that's 5 times x times x. And in terms of breaking the 15 down, well I know that 15 is 5 times 3, and there's also the x. What I do next is I look for things that are common in both parts, so I can see that there's a 5 in each part, and there's an x in each part. So what I'll do is I'll have the bit that's common in both, the 5 and the x, I'll have that outside the single bracket, and then literally all I need to write in the brackets is whatever's left over. So there's an x, a plus, and a 3. So I just write that in the brackets, x plus 3. So what we can say here is that 5x squared plus 15x factorises to 5x, and in brackets, x plus 3. And that's our answer there, underlined. So this one's a little bit more complicated. We're going to factorise 6a squared b plus 18ab. So just as before, we need to break each part down. Now 6a squared b is going to be 2 times 3 times a, a, b. Now the 6 is obviously the 2 times 3. Then it's plus. Now the 18a, b is a little bit more complicated, so I'll just do some workings in the top corner. Now 18, we know we can break down to 9 and 2, and then 9 breaks down to 3 and 3. So 18ab we can write as 3 times 3 times 2 times a times b. The process now is exactly the same as before. I'm looking for parts that are common in each. So I can immediately see there's a 2 in each part. I can see there's a 3 in each part. I'm just circling those. There's an a in each part, and there's a b in each part. So what's common I can write outside the brackets. So there's a 3, and there's a 2, and there's an a, and there's a b. I then just write down whatever's left over. So if I go through and underline what's left over so we can see it. There's an a, a plus, and a 3. So I can write that inside the brackets, a plus 3. And then I can just tidy it up very slightly, because at the beginning, 3 times 2 simplifies. That really simplifies to 6ab, then in brackets, a plus 3. So what we're saying here is 6a squared b plus 18ab factorises to 6ab, then in brackets, a plus 3. OK, it's time for you to have a go at a few. What's going to happen in a second is a slide's going to pop up with a few of these on as practice questions. What you should then do is press pause on the video, get a pen and paper out, either in your exercise book or just on a piece of paper, have a go at the questions, and then when you've had a go at the questions, just let the video play again, and then on a few seconds later will appear the answers, so you can check my answers against your answers, see where you're going right, see where you're going wrong. OK then, so here are the questions that you should have a go at, and there's seven of them here, and that are, these are all questions to factorise into a single bracket. 
So what you should do now is pause the video clip and with a pen and paper in your exercise book just have a go at the seven questions. Then when you've had a go at them, play the video again and you can cross check my answers against your answers. Okay then, I hope you found those questions interesting. Now here's the actual solutions to the questions written in red. So just the first one for example, 2y squared plus 6y factorises to 2y, y plus 3. Now what you should do also here is pause the video and just check your answers against my answers. And if you've gone wrong, first thing to do is try and pick out where you've gone wrong. If you're not sure what, what, what the mistake you've made is, you should kind of talk to your maths teacher and kind of get extra guidance because it's obviously something, a little weaknesses that you need to address before your GCSE exam. And finally, hope you enjoyed this short video clip on factorising expressions into a single bracket. If there's any further problems or any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch and look out for the next video clip.